Hey Connor, this is Jessica from Peterson SEO, and today I had the privilege of speaking with Carly, who thought you would be very interested in this video I'm about to show you, with just a few tips that you guys can apply right now to help your online presence and get more of those organic leads, okay? So here we are on your website. Hold on. I apologize for the background do dogs barking. Um, so anyways, here we are on your website. It looks like you have a decent looking website. Okay. Got some interlinking. That's good. Um, I'm assuming all your services have their own pages. You got a little bit of content here. Um, not seeing much by way of keyword usage. Um, okay, so Google ranks your website based on content, not appearance. So content is key. Um, the more content you have, the better. Google wants to see a minimum of 1,000 to 1,500 words of content on your homepage, going after those buyer intent keywords that are location-based. Um, so your services in Minneapolis, they should um, be location-based. And those are going to be the keywords people are actively searching for your services. They may not know the name of your company, but they know that they're looking for some type of restoration or remodeling help. And those are the type of terms they're gonna be searching for. Um, so you're gonna to need to add more content and dial in on those um, buyer intent keywords. Um, looking at your services, what's going on here? I would probably do this a little bit differently. You don't have a whole lot of time to capture someone's attention on their website. So to have to click multiple times just to get to what they're looking for, you're going to lose people. Um, so looking at your kitchen remodeling. Um, some keyword usage there. But I don't really see any repetition. So... Um, I'm not really seeing any big keyword focus. Um, are your pictures optimized? Kitchen remodeling. So it's pretty generic. Um, you should have more of your keywords in here. Um, and optimize those photos a little bit. That would give you a little bit of help. Um, so yeah, you're gonna need to um, have a separate page for every single one of the services that you offer and make sure that you have the right amount of content to go after those keywords. The rule of thumb is 150 words for every keyword you're trying to target. You have a lot of different services. So I just chose, um, um, kitchen remodels for one of your top competitors. And I found McDonald Remodeling. Um, their website is okay. Um, they are outranking you. Hold on. I apologize again. Those dogs are driving me crazy. Okay, so um, this guy's website is okay. They got a ton of pictures and no content. Um, they are burying their keywords in their um, in their photos here um, so they're missing out, out on quite a bit of potential um, but they are getting traffic they do have separate pages for each of the services that they offer um, so for these guys you're gonna need a lot more content um, to beat these guys and probably some SEO as well. Um, this is a program called AREFs. It helps us to analyze how your website is performing. As you can see, you have um, an 11 out of 100 in Google's Trust Flow, which isn't great, 
but it's not terrible. Um, and that's 100% based on your referring domains and backlinks. You need to have high quality authoritative backlinks. Not all backlinks are created equal. And you need to have more of those high authority backlinks than your top competitors for each of the services and service areas um, that you do. Um, because you don't have a whole lot of content, you're only being indexed for 22 keywords and you're only seeing on average 55 people to your website per month. Now keep in mind, 70% of your organic leads come through your website. So it is really important that your website is optimized. Um, if we look at your competitor, they have a 16 out of 100 and that's because they have over 1600 backlinks. Um, a good portion of them are going to their homepage and to their portfolios. Um, they have 736 keywords they're being indexed for, and they're seeing 438 people on average to their website. Again, um, you guys are both missing out on a considerable amount of traffic. Um, if these guys actually did the content they should be doing, they would be getting a lot more traffic. Um, so in order to beat these guys, you need to work on your content and keyword strategy, but you also need to go out and get those high authority backlinks. You need more in volume as well as higher quality do follow relevant backlinks. What a backlink is, is when one website links to your website and then drives traffic to your website. Google likes this because it's like a popularity contest. The more relevant this website is to your business, the more authority and the more power it's going to give you. Um, and then you need to make sure that they are do follows and not no follows because do follows will share their high rank with you and help to boost you <coughs> um, even faster. And then last but not least, these um, should be tied to your keywords to help you rank for your keywords and to be found for each of those services that you offer. And then the last thing I want to talk to you about is this Google Map Pack or Google My Business page. Your goal should be to be in the top three of this section for each of your major keywords because 30% of people come directly to the maps and won't go any further. So if you're not in the top three, you're sending all those leads to your competition and leaving money on the table. So in order to be in the top three, there's several factors, but the biggest one is citations, which is the name of the business, address, phone number, and website, and listing those in a variety of places like Yelp, Facebook, Yellow Pages, Dex, Instagram, etc. And so you need a lot more of those than your top competitors. And when you follow all of these tips that I've provided you today, your website can be number one across Google in your service area for all of your relevant keywords. And you're probably wondering, well, what do I do now? Well, you can either take this information I provided and apply it yourself, and that's completely okay because this is free education. I just ask that you go ahead and give me some feedback and let me know what you thought of this video. However, if you did decide you would like help getting some of this stuff done and you don't want to have to worry about it, go ahead and give us a call at the number on your screen and we can chat. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon.